To read that early chapter in the universe's history, to learn the nature of those first probably gargantuan stars, to learn about the invisible matter whose gravity coaxed them into being, and about the roles of magnetism and turbulence, and how enormous black holes grew and worked their way into galaxies' centers. We have the $10 billion James Webb Space Telescope in space that launched on Christmas Day 2021. Some scientists shared their nervousness. James Webb Space Telescope's scientific potential is, after all, enormous, and it could answer some of the biggest questions about the universe. However, Webb has discovered something that will change how scientists look at the formation of Earth and the origin of the universe. Join me as I show you the James Webb Space Telescope's terrifying discovery about the Big Bang that changes everything. After a month-long journey, the James Webb Space Telescope has now reached its final destination. Now cooling down and deploying instruments, it won't be long until the telescope will begin reporting back with findings and exciting new imagery. The successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, NASA's new and much improved space observatory, has several goals in mind for its trip into space. Not only will it be used to deepen our understanding of the Milky Way, but it will also peer at faraway exoplanets and celestial objects and hunt for evidence of dark matter. The James Webb Space Telescope is often billed as a replacement of the Hubble Space Telescope, but I would prefer to view it as a successor. Hubble has now operated for more than 30 years and given us amazing views of the universe and many thousands of scientific results. We hope and anticipate that it will continue to operate for many more years. But the relatively small 2.4 meter diameter mirror compared to ground-based telescopes limits its sensitivity and ability to observe the faintest objects. Also, although Hubble has some capability to observe in infrared light, it cannot access the wavelengths of light from the very earliest of stars and galaxies. The James Webb Space Telescope, however, will be able to do so. It may even be able to see Population 3 stars, stars that formed from primordial material from the Big Bang, which have never been glimpsed before. Knowing when the first stars were formed soon after the Big Bang, the Big Bang is how astronomers explain the way the universe began. It's the idea that the universe began as just a single point, then expanded and stretched to grow as large as it is right now, and it's still stretching. And understanding how they produced the building blocks of the first galaxies is an important scientific question and one of the primary science goals of the James Webb Space Telescope. We know that the elements that are needed for life and modern technology, such as carbon, silicone, and gold, were ultimately created in early stars. But we don't currently have a good understanding of how this happened. The need to detect faint objects in the distant universe has been an important driver for the design of the observatory, determining its size, wavelength coverage, and need to keep it very cool to minimize undesirable background light. Studying the first stars and galaxy is not the only scientific program the James Webb Space Telescope will perform. It's conceived as a general purpose observatory on which astronomers from around the world can apply for time to support their research. For example, Observing in the infrared will allow the James Webb Space Telescope to see through the clouds of dust that enshroud very young stars, which are opaque to visible light. Unlike Hubble, it will be able to see right into stellar nurseries, where stars and their planetary systems are being born. The observations will answer questions about how the clouds of dust and gas collapse to form stars and how planetary systems form around them. When the first plans of the James Webb Space Telescope were being discussed more than 20 years ago, no planets were known other than those in our own solar system. Since then, astronomers have discovered thousands of planets orbiting other stars in our galaxy, exoplanets. A significant fraction of the James Webb Space Telescope observing program will be devoted to the study of their atmospheres. The wavelength coverage of the James Webb Space Telescope is particularly well-tuned to studying molecules in exoplanet atmospheres and the low infrared background from space, giving it a considerable advantage over Earth-based telescopes. Two techniques are available. One takes advantage of the fact that planets can pass in front of other parent stars, called a transit, creating a dip in the light we see from it. By analyzing the light, broken down by wavelength, with great precision before and during a transit, 
we can probe the planet's atmosphere to unveil what molecules it consists of. Another technique uses a special instrument called a coronagraph to block the light from the parent star to enable direct imaging of the planet and study its atmosphere or surface. This could help unveil whether a planet is suitable for life, perhaps warranting further investigation and one day sending many space probes there. The ultimate goal is to find a planet similar to Earth, but it would require a very lucky combination of circumstances because they are likely to be rare in the solar neighborhood and very faint compared to the parent star. Most likely, the James Webb Space Telescope will study gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn or ice giants similar to Uranus and Neptune in our own solar system. None of the known planetary systems resemble our own, with many giant planets in closer orbits than ours and more extreme heating of their atmospheres and more dynamic weather conditions. In addition to studying planets outside our solar system, the James Webb Space Telescope will be able to observe our home planetary system. Its great sensitivity will enable the identification and characterization of comets and other icy bodies in the outermost regions of the solar system. In such a remote location, these objects are largely unchanged since their formation and may contain clues to the origins of Earth, particularly the source of its water, which may be the result of bombardment by such bodies early in its lifetime. The James Webb Space Telescope will also be able to observe all the planets that lie outside Earth's orbit of the Sun, studying their atmospheres and seasonal weather variations. Detailed plans and ideas for what will be discovered are essential justification for the expense of building an ambitious, game-changing telescope such as the James Webb Space Telescope. But there will be discoveries that nobody can anticipate. When Hubble was launched, the idea of exoplanets was largely science fiction, yet studying exoplanets became one of its major tasks. I wonder what surprising science awaits us with the James Webb Space Telescope. Using its infrared telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope Observatory will examine objects over 13.6 billion light years away. Because of the time it takes light to travel across the universe, this means that the James Webb Space Telescope will effectively be looking at objects 13.6 billion years ago, an estimated 100 to 250 million years after the Big Bang. This is the furthest back in time ever observed by humanity. The James Webb Space Telescope is expected to operate for five years after its launch. However, NASA hopes the observatory will last longer than 10 years. Unfortunately, the observatory won't be able to operate forever. Although mostly solar powered, the James Webb Space Telescope needs a small amount of finite fuel to maintain its orbit and instruments. The James Webb Space Telescope is specifically designed to focus on the infrared spectrum. It can't see in ultraviolet light like the Hubble did, but it will be able to focus on bright objects like very distant galaxies. The James Webb Space Telescope is also much larger than the Hubble, mostly due to its large sun shield. This is used on all space telescopes, but is especially important with the James Webb due to its infrared cameras. If it isn't kept cool, it could risk blinding itself to the lights of objects it is trying to observe. One other key difference between the two satellites is the distance that they will be kept. The Hubble telescope orbited above Earth's atmosphere, but was close enough to be approached if repairs needed to be done. The James Webb Space Telescope, on the other hand, will be far away, around 1.5 million kilometers away. That's both further than any human has ever traveled and too far for anyone to ever go repair the satellite if something goes wrong. It'll be this far out for a few reasons. It will be in a place where the gravity of the Sun and Earth work together to help keep the satellites in place. Plus, it'll be far away from the reflected radiation of the Earth, helping keep it cool. Comment down below your thoughts on the James Webb Space Telescope and the discoveries it will make that will change how we look at space completely. Do like, share, and subscribe to our channel.